All right, it is mid-December almost. I've got a lot of projects I didn't finish and a lot of stuff to get done and cleaned up for the winter. And this is just a quick tour of what I've got going on out here right now. So the peppers that I pruned are still sitting out here on my deck. This chair, um, this was a project I was going to up pot the rest of my horseradish and it's still sitting there because I'm a hot mess gardener. <laughs> I've got my cut and come again greens and some comfrey. I still did not harvest all of these. Some of these are going to get, so the kales, the leafy kales are going to get um, separated and up potted. And then all the mustard greens and the edible chrysanthemum are going to get cut and put into a salad. Over here, I've got butterfly bushes, some comfrey, my pomegranate's not looking too good, loan flowers are done for the year. I've got a couple little citrus trees that are not looking so hot, but um, they will go into my greenhouse as soon as I put the cover on. Got some crazy mint, a cherry tree that never grew, never came out of dormancy. And let's see, I always have a lot of grass growing in my blueberries. This is what's left of my garlic chives. My other blueberries, they always turn red. What was in this pot? Um, I think this was oregano. Tomatoes that I meant to bring in, but I didn't. This is basil, basil's done. Um, the sorrel, this will actually be fine, uncovered all winter, but I am going to move it. And these peas, these peas did pretty well. I planted them at the end of the summer. They're still putting on flowers, but they look really rough. And they haven't produced any peas. These orange containers I still have not filled. This red container actually had the tomato in it over there that I, I moved it. So I can use this container, this earth box. I've got kale from last year in this other earth box. I'm going to split these up. So half of them are in one earth box, half are in the other earth box. And that way they'll have more space to move and grow. I've got my, this is another tomato. This did not survive the cold. I've got my, um, Moringa trees. These are struggling. These are coming inside. I've got a tree kale. This is the first time that I've left this outside in full weather. And it seems to be doing okay. But when I first planted it, it got tall and gangly. So I am debating cutting it back to make it bush out more. These side looking strawberries are just sending runners down through the deck um, that will eventually take over my yard like Jumanji. This is the other pepper that I pruned. Um, this looks sad, but the stem is still green. I think this will be fine if I cut this again, but it does have kale growing in it. I've got kale growing everywhere. This is kale that I planted for fall this is actually doing pretty good. And I've got some other baby ones in here too. This is lavender. I don't know why I keep killing this. So you can see some of it is still alive down here. The lavender that I have in the lower yard is doing very well. So I think this might be getting too much sun. This is another tomato that I was going to bring inside that succumbed to the cold. This is, was, uh, what's it called? An eggplant. And the stem still looks alive. I was going to bring it in. I might still trim it back so I'm going to bring it in and see what happens. I've got some more baby kales. 
These are baby lettuces that I started from seed um, after the main plant bolted, but I need to separate these if, if I want them to get any bigger. In these fabric pots right down here, I planted, I had a bunch of bulbs for, oh, you can see some of them on top, for my walking onions, and I planted a bunch of them. See, this is what the bulb will look like. Um, I planted them in these two pots. There's some kale coming up in these pots. This was, the, all these right down here were beans. They've got um, weeds in them now. This is my lemon tree. This will be coming inside so that I can keep my garden tower, which is still not full, in my <sighs> greenhouse. The greenhouse up here, um, all the pots on the top, the big gray ones, those are my lilies that I found out were poisonous to the cat, so I put them out of her reach just in case. That was a sad little um, stevia that didn't make it. Da down here, I don't know what was in there before, probably some kind of cut and come and gun green, and I just took the dirt out to use, reuse it. These two containers right here, I planted late summer cucumbers, red runner red scarlet beans and some red um, Malabar spinach the beans did take off you can see that they did grow up the netting over the greenhouse I got flowers but no beans and they ended up like I only had a couple of beans growing in each pot but the leaves got so big that they shaded out the cucumbers the cucumbers were stunted they set flowers but i never got any fruit but i am surprised that this malabar spinach is still alive i might dig that up and bring that in the house over here i've got um more remnants of things that are struggling i've got some chamomile that's going pretty good some dill most of these planters over here on the side had either I think that there's oregano and basil over here and a lot of that struggled I've got another butterfly bush some more comfrey um this was basil that obviously didn't make it and now has weeds growing in it this is this onion actually this was from spring onions that were kitchen scraps Last winter, I put them outside. They struggled in the spring. They got infested with aphids, but because the aphids weren't on anything else, I left them there as a sacrificial plant. And then the wasps, wasps came in and ate the aphids. And now this thing is still going strong. So I think I might uh, move this to a new pot because that pot is falling apart actually. This right here is more Moringa that looks dead. Another butterfly bush, the triplet lilies that I put in there never grew. More comfrey, some catmint. These are strawberries that still seem to be producing even though it's December. So um, I might put those in my greenhouse to see if I can get some more strawberries. That's pretty much it. So I have a lot of cleanup to do out here and um, a lot of moving stuff around. And then some things will be going into the greenhouse when I put the cover back on it. And oh, I did not, I missed some of the beans. See them still hanging from the netting. And then that little thing down there, this is, it gives me the temperature and the humidity. So this actually lives inside the greenhouse when the cover is on and I brought it out here a couple weeks ago when I was thinking about putting the cover on but we've had a lot of very rainy or windy days and um, because I live in a high wind area I did not want to take the chance that my greenhouse cover would blow out of my hands and blow down onto the highway so I guess I'll be doing that as soon as 
I check the weather and see what the wind forecast is for today. And then another thing I do at the end of the year is take my umbrella down and I would just put it in the basement. The table stays out here but the umbrella goes inside. And all of these leaves I will be sweeping up and putting them into my compost bin because um, they make great compost and the worms that are in my compost bin love them. Oh yeah, there's my other cat mint. This one has done really well since I pruned it for the pruning class. Some of it still looks straggly, but this looks huge. You would not believe that this was from like a tiny little plug. So that's all for now, and I will <clears throat> show you guys what this looks like probably in a couple days after I'm done winterizing everything and transferring things and up potting things and filling things up with soil. So have a good day. Bye.